Video number four, Fluid Section Rebuild Kit Installation. This video is designed to assist with the Fluid Section Rebuild Kit Installation of the EVO Series Electric Diaphragm Pump by Aero. This is the fourth video in a sequence of four videos. To be sure that the EVO Series Electric Diaphragm Pump is installed correctly and safely, all videos should be carefully watched in order before beginning installation of the pump. If you have questions, please contact Aero Tech Support at arotechsupport at irco.com or 800-495-0276. Diaphragm Replacement Note, be sure to follow your company guidelines and wear the proper protective safety equipment. Note, before working on a pump, be sure to properly bleed all fluid pressure and drain any remaining fluid that is trapped within the pump. Diaphragm changes can be done one at a time or with upper and lower manifolds completely removed. Remove the upper and lower manifold bolts connecting to a given fluid cap, and then loosen the other manifold bolts to allow some slack. Remove the fluid cap and be careful to hold on to the upper and lower balls and seats. Remove lower cap to access the 21 mm crankshaft hex. And turn the crankshaft until the piston is partially to fully extended. Note, if you are repairing a one inch pump, the crankshaft will have 18 mm hex. Remove the diaphragm backup washer and diaphragm. Remove the bellows retaining plate. Clean and inspect all parts. Replace worn or damaged parts with new parts as required. Reassemble parts in reverse order from the sequence in which they were removed. Refer to the torque requirements in section 11 of the manual. Before reassembly, clean and inspect all parts from the air cap area to minimize the chance of nuisance trips on the leak detects. Install bellows, part list item number 13, bellows plate, item number 16, and secure with socket head screw, item number 17. Diaphragms should be installed as marked and should be concave towards fluid cap. Part list item number 15. Fluid side marking should face fluid cap. Drive side marking should face crankcase. Install spacer, part list item number 18, diaphragm soft pad, item number 12, inner diaphragm washer, item number five, primary diaphragm, item number seven, backup diaphragm, item numbers 8 and 10, an outer diaphragm washer, item number 6. Screw washer and secure it with diaphragm bolt, part list item number 14. Note, ensure diaphragm is centered while tightening diaphragm bolt to prevent damage of diaphragm. Ensure O-ring, item number 3, is placed onto bore seal 
an O-ring, item number four, is placed onto face seal groove of outer diaphragm washer, item number six. The dowel pins need to be aligned between the piston and the backup washer prior to tightening the diaphragm bolt. Rotate the crankshaft until the outer diaphragm bead makes contact with the air cap. Note, this step will need to be repeated for each diaphragm. Install hex head bolt, part list item number 27, and nut, part list item number 29, through fluid cap, part list item number 15. Install 21 seats, part list item number 21, O-rings, item number 19, and balls, item number 22. Note, washers, item numbers 28 and 69, are used for aluminum and cast iron pump configuration. Attach inlet and outlet manifolds to the fluid cap using bolt. Part list item number 26. Recheck torque settings after pump has been restarted and has been running for a few minutes. This process needs to be repeated for each fluid cap and it is recommended to replace all three diaphragms at the same time. Thank you for watching video four, EVO series electric diaphragm pump, fluid section rebuild kit installation. If you have questions, please contact Aero Tech Support at arotechsupport at irco.com or 800-495-0276.